Are you willing to accept those complications? And will you be happy if you end up with a 20% improvement? You clearly have a complication. So uh, yeah. what's going on with the calf implants? I'm 18. I got it done and they were too small. I felt like I didn't get what I was looking for. In 2014, I got these bigger calf implants. Wow. Then in a week, I noticed that my right leg wasn't looking right because it was more swollen. So I went back to my plastic surgeon and he's like, well, you're still healing. Well, give it time, let this one go away. And I'm like, well, my left one is okay. And my right one is looking kind of purple. Purple. If as you get lower to like the bottom part of my implant, I can't feel anything. So you have a nerve injury? Apparently. What about pain? The right one is painful. Like I can't work out. I haven't been working out in years. Is your pain getting worse? Is your numbness getting worse with time? I feel like my pain is definitely, it's getting worse. I mean, it's a million other things. Like? like I've never worn a dress in my life. Oh, really? Never. I have to tape my leg to compress it so that it's not sticking out like a brick. All I wanted was bigger calves, and now I have deformed purple legs, and they don't belong with my body. They look like they came from another human being. It looks like they put these in behind your knee on each side, okay? Big incisions. All right, have a seat, let me tell you. I make an incision through that scar. You may think it's a simple matter of just grabbing it and pulling it out. That could be buried right in a major blood vessel or a major nerve. And just by taking it out, it could disrupt a motor nerve and give you a potential foot drop or a problem moving your ankle, which is a disaster. You are instantly disabled. You wake up forever more disabled. Oh my gosh. Are you willing to take the risk in getting these out? Um, so I did expect to have an possible complication. I already replayed that in my mind right. many times. There's nothing that can be done but to remove them. Thanks to Dr. Dubrow, my horrible implants are out. The pain and numbness have vanished completely. And now in the morning, instead of all that taping and hiding, compressing, I enjoy a cup of coffee and talk to my legs. I look at my legs and it's like, whoa, those are mine. I love those. 1990 changed my life. I fell in love with Mariah Carey and her beautiful voice. And all through high school, actually, it, a lot of the music helped me to find a place where I was comfortable with myself and going through being bullied in school and people making fun of me for being gay. The music and the lyrics helped uplift me above all of that. Right out of high school, I moved to Monroe, Louisiana, and my drag career began. I opened my drag career performing as Mariah. I just thought I was Mariah Carey down. You couldn't tell me a thing. I decided back in about 2001 that I was more of a transgendered woman than a gay male. It was a great feeling knowing that I was going to be in my right body. I wanted to become like Mariah Carey, so I got breast implants. I've been told that I have the best chest in all of Texas, and ciao. <laughs> they always say, if you got it, flaunt it. So I do. After that, I decided to do some silicone work in my face. Those looked fantastic for Oh, quite a while. But then the silicone was changing my face. And all the pictures that I was taking, my chin looked ginormous. I decided to save up and get facial feminization surgery so that I could have smaller features and get some of the silicone removed. With a facial feminization surgery, they actually shave down your bones. That's when the nightmare started. After that surgery, all of a sudden, I started experiencing a lumpiness in my chin, and I started noticing an indention. The doctor said that swelling is normal, that it would take a lot of time for the swelling to go away. And the more time that went on, the more I noticed that dent. When we go in here and play around, there's even a risk of making that nerve damage worse.
The fact that I could come out with more nerve damage on my face is a scary thing because I'm a performer, I do shows, and your smile is important. Your smile is what people see, just like your eyes. Are you willing to accept those complications? And will you be happy if you end up with a 20% improvement? I'd be happy with any percentage. <laughs> just absolutely, yes, I would be. I'd be happy. I am willing to risk that in order to appear more normal for myself. Before my surgery, I had a big old gross dent in my chin and no amount of makeup could hide it. People would say, what happened to your chin? But now thanks to Dr. Nassif, the dent in my chin is completely gone and I have a more round feminine appearance and I'm ready to take center stage and be back in the spotlight. Joey, hi. Hi, Dr. nice Nassif. to meet you. Hi, Joey, Terry Hi, it's a pleasure. pleasure. Look at that tan on you. Yeah. Always. You guys, you know, actually, you got a tan almost like that because I you like doing that. I was just on vacation. I thought Terry was dark when he got that tan. Nah, Joey beats him by a mile. Tell us your journey with body implants. I was Mr. New England in 1986. And was that a bodybuilding contest? No, it was like a male version of Miss America. I mean, it was... Oh, beauty patch. It was, yes. It was in a uh, swimsuit, formal wear. They did that for men? No kidding. Yeah, this male. is Mr. America. Before I did the implants, I had cancer. What kind of cancer? Uh, I was lymphoma. Okay. I went from 155 to 118. Wow. Everybody thought I was dying. Uh, you're totally in remission it, now. Everything's good, everything. How yeah, many years has it been? Four. So I went to my doctor. He said, lost muscle mass, bone density. So I did my research and I found this doctor. I liked his work. What part of the body? My biceps, because my arms are skinny. So that's the operation you had first. Mm -hmm. So what was the result of that? So I developed fluid. He took the fluid out twice. When you put an implant in and fluid continues to accumulate, that's called a seroma. That can be a difficult problem to fix. And he said to me, the only way I know how to fix that, you have to gain eight pounds and I'll suck the fat on, put it back in. Yeah. She had fat grafted in your arm. Yeah. And Over then, an implant. Well, wait, so it gets better. Never, never heard of that. It gets better, wait. Yeah, well, you, there's a reason you never heard so of that. Tricep implants. So wait, what, wait, you're having a problem with the biceps. So, so while I was there, they put tricep implants. I said to him, do me a favor, make sure they just accent the bicep. I said, I don't want any, you know, just a little. What would you like to happen, theoretically? I just want normal looking arms. Do you want normal looking arms that are a little bigger than normal? So he wants implants. Mm -hmm. We need to go in and examine you, but I want to plant this thought in the back of your head, all right? Plastic surgery procedures, the common ones, the top 10, they have about a 5% complication rate. When you go to the unconventional, like body implants, they have a complication rate way over 35%. The reason guys like us don't do this kind of surgery is because the risks outweigh the benefits. The complication rate is prohibitive. Over time, this situation is going to get worse. Here's what we could help you with. We can take the implant out, release the scar tissue, take the capsule out surrounding the implant, and then that'll allow everything to sort of heal okay and look better. What do you think? I think you gave me some good information, and I think I really have some thinking to do. For someone who's so concerned about proportionality of the body, you're gonna have a much smaller bicep and one large right bicep. In other words, worse than you were in your original preoperative situation. It's like living in a house that's not completely built. This is only a stepping stone for me. I'm going somewhere. This is, we need to do this now to get to where I'm headed. No one was buying tickets to this gun show. I had a contracted bicep implant and two ridiculously large tricep implants. But now, thanks to Dr. Dubrow, this gun show is sold out.